you might say these turkeys on Laughing Chicken Farm in Trenton have everyone clucking. Oh, you're not helping. We can't keep up. We cannot keep up. Oh, please, do you have one left? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Farmers Bill and Robin Pop say these gobblers have been spoken for since October. This year we did 150, next year will probably be three or 400. As many as we can, as we can comfortably fit out here and still be, uh, have them comfortable. We don't want to crowd them. That's what we're trying not to do is end up like the industry is where everything's smashed together in little tiny, little tiny spaces. The pops say these guys behind me are fed no chemicals and no antibiotics and they're allowed to roam free. That's the main difference between us and other farms is everything is on the grass. You can see the turkeys eating the grass, they're laying in the grass, they're enjoying the bugs that are in the grass. No hormones, there's no arsenic, there's no, the feed's not medicated, the chicks are not vaccinated, they're just as, as, um, as natural as they can be. And natural is just the way Teresa Perman likes her meat, even though she's a vegetarian. But the dog is going to have turkey this year. Yeah. I got a big turkey neck for her and she's going to love it. You can't get any meat better than this out here. They feed it right, they take care of it. These turkeys are happy. And customers are happy too. To know the process from farm to table is done as humanely as possible. Kimberly Howard, GTN News, working for you.